Welcome back everyone to Rogue Legacy 2. We're gonna do a rolling start into the castle. Um, I've already picked the assassin class and we are just gonna move forward here. Um, so this is a fresh, um, fresh run. Um, I didn't turn the game off mid-run um, and then come back to it. So this is me, like I said, <sighs> the very beginning of this run. We're going downstairs uh, into the dry lake bed. Vision dry lake. Uh, little dots indicate areas I need to go to. Uh, either a... Um, one of a couple things. It's either the storeroom that holds lore significance. Um, yep, yep, those explode. That explodes. <laughs> So, um, there are two rooms, like, in the, um, Stygian study, uh, that I have to unlock, but I have to also do a, um, little bit of a, I don't know what you call it, minigame, um, in order to get the keys to unlock the boss, the mini-boss rooms, and then once I unlock the mini bo beat the mini-bosses, It'll, um, it'll do something. So, um, so far I've only really scouted out this area. Uh, this is one of the areas that, uh, has a key, uh, key in it. Um, so we're going to try to get the key, and then we gotta find the lock the key goes to. Um, So it does cost resolve to pick up the keys. Uh, which shouldn't be too much trouble, I don't think. Um, and now we just have to find the lock that this key goes to and then beat the mini boss. Which, as you can see, I'm down to 61 health, 5 health, dead. So I lose the key now, and I gotta go back and find it again. So Compulsive Gambler is pretty good. Um, fortunate, I don't know what this is. So we're gonna find out what it is in a second. Dropped items disappeared after a short time. Okay, so it's forgetful, I'm sorry. <laughs> fortunate. Um, yeah, that's not gonna be too much of an issue either. Plus, we're gonna be going down to the dry lake again, so... I doubt that'll matter too much. Uh, depending on what happens, we may have to put the dry lake bed on a temporary hold and level up a little bit. Um, there are a couple uh, items that I still have to get uh, that aren't down here. Uh, little fucking things down here driving me nuts. a lot of enemies too I've noticed I'm not exactly at the point where I'm one hit KOing KO them either so I don't think I'm underpowered for this area but I am certainly not overpowered either yeah so one of the earlier episodes I mentioned I was wondering if those guys were going to come back down here because uh, I'd only seen them uh, in one area. Strangely enough, they did come back. They came back in this area that's a dry lake bed, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, unfortunately, this enemy does not work well with what I've got going. Okay, so we found the key area again, the same one as before. I might have switched up the keys though, so 
This might be a different key than it was the first time. That's fine. And I'm dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Assassin's class is not the best class. Plus, I, I, have, I think I have leather armor on right now, so... I think I'm gonna switch off the love leather armor. One hit wonder is a no is a no go for me. Hundred percent more health, but I can't heal. That's so this is always a toss up one for me because you got so much more health, but nothing you can do to re really expand your health bar like. If you take the poison apple, it'll expand your health bar, but you can't you can't get the health back. You know? This makes this uh this makes this trade kind of a no-go in a lot of ways. There's pizza, but I don't need that. Plus it gives zero HP. Alright, so we're gonna go down. Ugh, the dead end. I can't take the poison apple because it just will deal damage to me. I can take the regular apple because it doesn't heal me. There's probably, I'm gonna find out later on that there's probably a, uh, like, uh, whatever they call it, relic that undoes this ability. You know? Oh, hey, you're good to. Yep, I managed. Is that a Trump hoot? Is that the name? Or a Trump hoot? I don't know. Notice that. So this is the uh this is the dark gate. I need the dark key to get in here, the whatever they call that. So those guys are enemies are dealt dealt damage by the uh exploding barrels, which I didn't expect. Because nothing deals damage to enemies with the exception of Sometimes, um, sometimes, uh, spikes and sometimes water. Poison water, that is. So. Alright, this is another one of those areas. Uh, I'm not good enough to do this. This is where the other key is. Like I said, one of the keys are in a sort of like a little challenge area, which is much easier to get to. And this one is in an area that if you're really good at the jump thing, you should be able to destroy, but the nature is when you hit the, um, when you hit the buzz saws, they recess into their, um, thing. So, yeah, I'm trying to look, see if there's anything down here, or if I need to be going the opposite direction, which is what I should be doing. Anywho, um... You know, yeah, happen. Um, but anyways, you hit the button, you down slash the buzz saws, they go away for a little while. They don't go away permanently. It'd be nice if they did. Ugh. So those guys, if they turn upside down, they'll do that. You see the zombies came back as well from the third area. I don't need to go through here and do what I'm doing right now. Just kind of getting experience points for it. Yep, he jumped right when I was 
doing my jump thingy. Don't even see me try to climb this. Too bad. I ain't doing it. I already tried it earlier. It's really difficult. There's the other gate. I need the white key to get in here. So... I now know where two of the gates are. I know where one of the two keys are. But just a matter of me doing this. Yeah, nice and easy, huh? Go back and forth between the two. Whenever you mess up, you get damaged. Great, huh? is a death sentence for me right now. Should be able to do this, I think. Oh man, he's dead. I just have to kill the slug. Or leave. Either way is fine. Unfortunately, this is the storeroom. We'll get a little bit of um, a little bit of lore explanation here. Clouds is a new energy source. Before the dragon fell ill, it would fertilize the soil by participating in the ancient rite, dragon ash. But sick sickness, the not number of ash clouds have more than quadrupled. In addition, the chemical compounds in these clouds have changed. The ash is denser, extremely conductive. It is however theoretically possible to pull the electric from the clouds. From could prove an unlimited list source of energy. There's a little secret. Right here. Right where I pointed for the uh, accessories is the secret area. And then nifty. Paper is old, it's stained yellow and cusp on degrading in the grass. Success, I've near, nearly done a dozen attempts and finally able to anchor another room to, the, to this storehouse. Problem is every time I try to construct it, the shift occurs. I need to find an anchor rooms together. So examine Enoch's note on, on the room problem. Understand connection is shared subconsciously. Ask myself, what is it was that anchored this hidden chamber to the room that I hid it in? Unique portal shared by both rooms makes it unmistakable. Unforgettable. 
So he basically explaining that he used Enoch's notes to uh, lock the boss. Writings faded. Mimics are are rudimentary, capable of performing the most primitive tasks. New creation. The flying automation is a robust and versatile piece of engineering. I can or defend me or mine. Even work. Blah blah blah. People have been fed and clothed. They require rest. They can suffer injuries. My automons, however, work non-stop every hour of the day. Request a meeting with the extraries. Man replace all the peasant labor with automatons. My proposal was soundly rejected. So gauntlet shaped something. Alright, we're gonna go this way now. leave am I stuck in here I think I might be stuck in here it means I gotta figure a way out and go through there oh, those are dead bodies that's one way to fill up a pit yeah, let's go this way Question is, do you see it? I know I see it. Do you see it? It's supposed to be a momentous occasion, and I finally succeeded in allowing my mind to escape this wretched place, even my body could not. With 100 of my beautiful, crafted mechanical hands, I broke through the ceiling of our subterranean kingdom. But the king, he betrayed me. Thousands of years we toiled down here in servitude. We've done everything he asked of us, but during this time, he sired other estuaries on the surface. Is this how he repays our devotion by replacing us with new upstairs? This estuary era, estuary jobble, however many there are, they're merely imposters, pretenders. These false estuaries prance about on the surface. I will, we will not be forgotten. I. Oh, he's pissed off because the king's basically betrayed him. Uh, location shifting storerooms or mass notes amount to misplaced inventory. Another page. Try to be certain. Loose. Fly loose something or other. than the rest pages have not yet yellowed a false estuary has passed from the world above fallen into the blades of unknown assassins death has proved more useful than his life for it gives me knowledge that eludes Enoch. the first day that false estuary perished I noticed new buds appearing on the tree and with that single bud they said that the souls of the dead enter the river stick which nourishes the tree of life gives birth to new life but the river has been stagnant for millennia which explains the tree's stasis. So why have, or have all the songs gone? I post that the king has been consuming the last fruit of the tree of life has become a place of return. Their souls of the dead are diverting away from the river and towards him instead. Now, we as asteroids partake from the flesh and thus share his immortal life. We're now part of the king, so it falls that when we die, a part of the king dies too. And once released, the world needs a new king, a grateful king. I can't do it. I can grow a new fruit. Brothers and sisters, I'm sorry, but progress demands sacrifice. So basically, uh, the king wants them to uh, create a new um, uh, fruit of life, but is only, but that's only doable if the um, if the estuaries die. They don't die then he doesn't have any need of the fruit of life because his, you know, he's essentially consuming souls um, in order to keep him alive. And the estuaries are bound to him, which means that only when the king dies 
uh, or oh, only when the king dies. Only when they die does the king end up in a um in this oh, I died. Great. In a situation where he requires a second tree of life. So he's keeping them essentially busy on a pointless task. Trying to bring fruit to the tree that's not gonna bear fruit. But if it were to bear fruit, then he would need to eat it again because his immortality would have essentially gone away, I guess. I understand that. Um, interesting. Some biblical shit is what that is. Tree of life, eating of one's flesh. Yeah. But it also makes me wonder, um, has not really looked into what happens at the end of this game at all. I've just sort of, when needing help, I've gone and looked for, like, oh, hey, where's the location of the next relic that I need? Because I've been stumped occasionally. Anywho. Um, I'm wondering, Enoch had mentioned, obviously, earlier that he had created a situation uh, which would, I can't remember if it was poison the tree or if it was essentially like a, a trap fruit, if you will. I'm wondering if we're going to end up, we're going to end up not necessarily betraying the king, though that would make sense if this game's setting itself as a prequel to the original. I really don't know where that fits in anyways. Um, but... The, the king itself, you know, he's... the mortal. And... Are we gonna do something where after we finish beating all the estuaries... Are we gonna be in such a situation where... You know... You know the whole linking of the flames thing from uh, from Dark Souls. Well, instead of that, like, what if you know we basically betray the king by feeding him false fruit or something like that? I don't know. I really don't know where the game's leading, to be honest. I think I have to start slowing down in these areas. I'm kind of making a lot of rash moves. Also, I take too much damage to ever want to use that, um... To ever want, uh, that a perk that gives me twice HP, but I can't heal. I just, I take too much damage, is what I'm trying to say. Ends up being a detriment, not a help. Though so there have been times where I've had runs where I can't seem to locate help. Alright. I'm not doing super well with this with these classes that require very specific things. I need a little bit of more range than I'm I'm getting. Either using, you know, a bow and arrow character or a sword character or a lance character. Yep, that's the superior magic right there. Alrighty. Also I'm eventually gonna have to stop going after money and just start focusing on trying to get through the through the dungeon and just sort of making mental notes for myself as I speak out loud all right there's one go over to the left here I might be able to find up the key there's the dark key I think I just have to be gonna go all the way up I guess
Such horseshit this fucking blink guy is. Got lucky with that meat there. This room, yes, but I will die here. Always classic. All right, nope, not going with you. Be my last choice. Mm, either one's fine. Checking real quick to make sure I have uh, already done the easy ones. So what I'm going to attempt to do here is we're going to look for some artifacts. I may be looking for the flight one if I can find it. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Poison apple. Uh, that would be pretty good. If I can get the three stacks I need. I smell more bullshit coming though.
Yeah, okay. Almost did it without losing any life. Unfortunately, you do have to get food. If I have full life and I get a mana potion, it does not count. I'm lucky with the chicken. I'm at full life now, I just need to find more meat. And not take damage. Like that. It's okay. Little damage I can... I can... fix by killing a number of guys. More damage, not so much. Lots more meat. And to stop taking damage as well, that would be also good. here. Oh, Charon's trial. Do or die. Toll must be paid. So we'll see if this uh, run ends right now. Or I have to beat 15 enemies without taking any damage. That is not a guarantee. Nope. Yeah, that was almost bad. We'll come back later if I get damaged or whatever. Or, well, I guess if I get damaged, I die. About half, I'm a little half, more than halfway there. And I'm dead. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. I'm very mad at myself. <laughs> 